All right, guys. Welcome back to another YouTube video. I'm starting to get really good at this, aren't I? All right, guys. So for whatever reason, I was getting blurry. So we're back at Mount Olympus. Today is Monday, September 20, 20 something. I just, uh, so yet again, you know, I came in a little early. I got my single out of the way, but unfortunately, I took too long uh, after my single and I tried to go for 350 and like off the rack, I could just tell I was cold, man. Like my, uh, my rhomboid or my trap knotted up. My low back was like, woo, 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 and then I was just like, nope, not today. So, but on instances like these, there are workarounds. And this kind of taps into something called load management, right? So load management could be uh, described as like simply preemptively making wise decisions, right? Like look at your reps, time sets, look at the intensity called upon the day, what you're prescribed, and then do your best to diligently make the right choices, right? But under certain circumstances, when you're advanced enough as a lifter and like something like this happens or you tweak your low back and you don't wanna make it worse, but you still wanna get some stimulus, what you can do is you can work around the areas that are limiting your ability to commit the exercise, right? To, to finish through. So for me in this example is, I'm gonna go do leg press and I'll probably do four to five sets of maybe like 12 to 15 reps and I'll just keep going up every as much as I can, right? I'm, I'm gonna try to aim to do my last set with maybe like eight or nine 45s on each side. Well, I really don't know how much the machine can handle. I'm just gonna probably max out the machine. But anyhow, Pablo's getting changed right now. Uh, forgot what I gave Pablo. I think he has a single, a six to seven, and then some back downs. But uh, for sure, he went over 700 last week. So probably look forward to another seven plus squat today. Like 750 would be really nice. But as you guys can see behind me, I gotta go take those plates off. So that way he can get warmed up and be nice and loosey goosey, baby. But all right, man. Anyhow, please like, share, subscribe. Shout out to Russ, man. That dude's been, hook, he hooked me up this past week with some gear. Like, I, I love Russell, man. I love the Better Brand team. Them dudes are, they're making waves. But besides that, guys, please like, share, subscribe. And if you guys take away anything from the video, like, please let us know in the description box. And praise be to God, man. For those of you guys who don't know, Pablo tweaked his back with 705. What was it like a month ago, Pop? Five weeks? Four. Four to five weeks ago. And you see Pablo is already back to doing more than what he uh, got hurt with. And I just want you guys to go back to all those videos. I know we didn't post too much in the last four weeks, but I, got, I want you to go back and listen to Pablo and listen to me and just take notes of what we're talking about because this is such a perfect, perfect, real life example of what you can do when you have a tweak like that. Like yes, it, requires a shift in mindset and a shift in direction but it's not like you don't have to make it like first of all Pablo did not make it worse he immediately recognized what was the issue he turned around we reshifted everything and we the direction was okay let's rehab let's get let's feel better it wasn't oh like let me let me load more weight <coughs> let me let me do more no it was let's do less let's do what we can and then here we are just four weeks later guys so i want you guys to look at this and visibly make those connections of like okay like pablo got hurt with 
50 pounds less than this and now he's doing 50 pounds more for a double in just four weeks. I promise you guys, if you guys take the necessary steps when you guys get hurt or something's up, I promise you, it's gonna pay off a thousand times than if you just try to freaking listen to anime, YOLO that stuff, and then now you're out eight weeks, 12 weeks, four months, five months, six months, and then that's not a good place where you wanna be because it's gonna, it's gonna hurt you the most mentally and it's gonna derail you if you don't know how to bounce back from that. So guys, like please, like, look at, Pablo's a perfect example, you know? I preach this stuff too. So, I literally talk about it in the intro, you know? So, literally guys, like this stuff that we, that we talk about, we literally believe it, we execute it, and we apply it to ourselves. Like we're not just giving you guys some mumbo jumbo, oh, like this is what you're supposed to do, like no. You just, you guys just saw us over a duration of time, in real time, apply what we talk about and you guys can see the dividends that it pays off when you do it the right way, so. Now that the top single is done, I went ahead and did my first set at 207 kilos, which is 595 pounds. Now we're on to the second set, which is 290 kilos, which is 639 pounds for a set of four. Come on. I hate looking at a mirror, man. When I squat, I absolutely despise it. Just cause you're looking at everything. Like, I'm not gonna miss myself squatting. I'm really right here. 750 for four is my best ever. But I know I can squat 800 for four or five. I just have to get used to it, you know? This is 300 kilograms on the bar, but I'm gonna add the two and a half to make it 305. Yeah, man, this is the last set. Better to hear me. Better to hear me uh, work my ass off right now. The last set, best set. Let's go. Let's generate that power, baby. Uh, for a while now, I've been really like trying to go a little bit heavier on my accessories because you need to. You know, you can't just go crazy on compounds and then go light on accessories. You know, it depends on how hard you go on compounds, and you can kind of gauge how hard you go on accessories. But never, ever like, oh, like I'm gonna just go through the motions, you know? Because then, then why are you there? Why are you doing it if you're just gonna go through the motions? So there's always a purpose for every movement. A purpose for every accessory so you do those you know you want to be an all-around lifter not just a one one trick pony so like at nationals last week so brother at nationals last week a bunch of guys were flexing a one lift you know flex your total flex your flex your gold medals be number one all-around lifter don't be like don't be walking like you're that guy if you only have one good lift to you you know like so many people have one good lift not everyone's number one see what i'm saying here like strive to be the best not to be the best at one thing or at one lift we're off on a tangent so let's get the first set going added 50 pound or 25 straight on each side we'll see how this feels There's so many ways you can approach your training. 
when it comes to what weight to pick for the movement you're gonna do. I like a couple of points, right? Obviously you have an idea of how much you can go per rep range that you are prescribed or that you're gonna do on that day. You can either start very light and do ascending sets. Depending on how many sets you have, you have four sets, you can go up each set until you have an idea of how your body feels. Okay, I can either stay at this weight or I can continue to go up until you know, okay, then at that point I can stop it before I start to overshoot and not finish the set at all. You know, there's always audibles. You don't have to stay at the same weight for all sets. However, it's not a bad thing either, you know? <sighs> yeah, man, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It means a lot and we're gonna just keep spamming these out, man. Like, I, I love doing this. I'm, we don't get paid. Like, I, if there's ads in our videos, like I don't put them on there. We don't get nothing from YouTube. I'm literally sponsored by only one company and that's Rascal Apparel. So if you guys wanna help us out, help me out or Jesus out, like the, you, the links in the description, like for apparel, um, SBD equipment, if you need a belt, knee sleeves, a bunch of y'all been asking where we get our knee sleeves and our belt from. It's SBD Apparel. Simply like link in the description if you, you know, you can scope out what they got. They got different colors and for the knee sleeves, which is honestly pretty cool. So, and then we got the mouthpiece, the Airweb mouthpiece that we've been using. Uh, we wear the One Hun slippers. Those are also in the description. And you can either use, oh, and then gym supplements. So, it's usually rarely talks about it, but he recently just got with gym supplements. And if you guys are, like, they're very good, guys. I know you guys seen our reviews and stuff, but if you guys are very interested, there's a link in the description. Click that link, because I don't think they do codes. So click, it will be his link. And like, you could buy something with the link that you click for him, that makes sense. So with anything else with the code, it would be code MEGA or code POPS for me, just for Rascal. Like, you gotta figure out why it is you come to the gym, bro. That's your money, that's your time, that's your energy. But personally, like, for someone that, you know, like, comes here, like, I need to make sure my time here is, is, is used wisely, appropriately, you know, to do what I gotta do and not waste it. Like, I was so locked in today, guys. Like, I have not felt like that in a long time. Like, like I need a win. I need to win. There is no and is or buts. I need to win. And I'm not okay with being anything. I'm not okay with losing, man. And losing doesn't have to be being second place. Losing to me is my performance. It's how am I performing? That's losing to me. You know, how, how are my numbers? Where is my numbers stacking up against the guys that are in the top three in the world right now in the weight class? That's losing to me. You know, my total is so trash right now, man. Like, I haven't competed in over a year. Oh, excuse me. Since earlier this year, February. Horrendous performance, man. And it's my leverages. I'm trying to change myself. I'm trying to eat right. I'm trying to better my habits. I'm trying to lose weight because I need, it. I need to. If I don't lose weight, I'm not going to win. I can't deadlift what I want to deadlift if I don't lose weight. Like, this is not, oh, like, I'm crying. Like, why are you guys hating on me? No, man, like. But it's my job and my duty. Whatever I want to accomplish, it's on, it's in my hands. You know, or not in my hands, but I had to take initiative. Nobody else. Man, you get up, man, and, and you don't even, man, don't even think about quitting. Don't be quitting on your family. Don't be quitting on life. I don't care how hard it is, man. You get up, you tie them damn shoes, and you walk out that door and you give it all you got. Because this world is temporary. And there's a God waiting for us in heaven. But you get up, you give it all you got. You give it 